Has anybody else noticed that Nikon is kind of not a meme anymore? The YouTube filmmaking community has seen a surge of creators trying out Nikon's cameras for actual video production. And it's kind of cool to see another company take a crack at putting really powerful filmmaking tools into relatively small and affordable camera bodies. Nikon also freaking purchased RED. Didn't know you could do that, but here we are. And I'll cover that in the last chapter of this video. But first, I want to talk about my experience directing and camera operating a real commercial shoot using the Nikon Z8 and tell you my zero BS take on whether or not it was the right choice for that job and what I actually learned about the camera shooting in a real world environment. So has Nikon truly gone from the potato of the camera industry to the pinnacle of filmmaking? Probably not, but let's talk about it anyway. This video is sponsored by Found, a business banking app for freelancers and entrepreneurs. More on them later. Recently, I wrapped up this huge project that I was working on for a couple months called Broteen. Broteen was a fake product commercial that I shot to get the attention of a large gaming streamer, large in terms of subscribers, that wasn't a fat joke, Tim the Tat Man. <laughs> That was bad. Here's the reasons I chose the Z8 for that commercial. Number one, I needed a clean, high resolution image. Two, I needed a versatile camera and lens combination that I could fly on a gimbal without sacrificing quality as a solo shooter. The Z8 absolutely delivered on the quality front. It shoots internal ProRes HQ. It can also do internal RAW, but I chose to stay away from the RAW and the 8K on the camera. Both incredible features, but I just wanted something that would be clean and easy to edit. So I went with 4K ProRes HQ. The footage looked really good. There are some cons in there as well that we'll get to in a little bit. Also, the autofocus was a little bit finicky for me to set up and we'll get into that in a little bit as well. But after I got N-Log freaking activated, I made my own Broteen preview LUT so I could see in camera and on my Ninja, which I used to monitor the footage, how the commercial was actually gonna look on set as close as possible to how it would look in post. And if there are any Nikon shooters out there and for some reason you like how my Broteen commercial looked, I'll put my Broteen LUT on my website if you wanna go check it out. To my surprise, the colors from the N-Log profile actually looked really good and gave me a lot of flexibility in post-production because I was shooting with a great codec, ProRes HQ. The body of the camera feels great. It's pretty large for a mirrorless camera, but it's actually kind of refreshing to hold something that feels more like a DSLR. It's it's more of like a chunk of Rooney Boonie if you look at it. That's, that's kind of just an industry term. It's not perfect, we'll get into that later, but it's a nice body for sure. The battery life on this camera is excellent, so you have nothing to worry about in that department. And the screen on the back of the camera is good quality. It looks fine. It's also slightly bigger than Sony screens. Like mirrorless camera screens in general are pretty tiny. And I like that Nikon made this one a little bit bigger. There is one huge downside to the screen that we'll have to cover as well, but the quality itself is fine. I only spent about a month in total with this camera and this shoot was the most grueling thing that I put it through. But during this one day extensive shoot, I really had no problems and overall I enjoyed using the camera. And I do wanna emphasize that the image quality from this camera looks great. We're at that point now where pretty much every mirrorless camera and cinema camera that are coming out create beautiful images. Each one has its own little bit of difference and flair to it, but I'd say the Nikon just gives you a really high resolution, clean image. It's a great starting point if you wanna throw either a really sharp lens on it or some vintage lenses, some anamorphic lenses. The Z8 sensor is just really nice and you're gonna have a great foundation with this camera for any kind of lens you wanna throw on it. Unfortunately, I can't speak to the raw capabilities or the 8K or anything like that because I just did 4K, so you'll have to check out some other videos for that, but now, <laughs> Let's talk about some other stuff. Found is an all-in-one banking platform and app that helps you run a successful business. And this is the platform that I use to run the entire back end of my business. Through Found, you can manage your profit and loss, automatically track your expenses, send high quality invoices, and you can set up your built-in banking account to automatically save money for taxes for you every single time you get paid, which is honestly like one of my favorite things about Found. Just being honest with you guys, two years ago, I almost completely hung up doing the free freelance, like solo entrepreneur, even YouTube lifestyle because I screwed myself over a couple years ago by not saving for taxes. With Found, I always have a good estimate of what I'll owe based on my business income and all of my categorized expenses in the app. And I wish I would have had something like this back then to save my cheeks. And when the next tax season rolls around, I can automatically share all of my financial information with my accountant. So hopefully I can maintain what's left of my hairline. Thank God. Plus it's more affordable than the other options out 
there and looks way cleaner, which makes it easier to navigate than those other options. It's actually free to sign up and use many of these core features. I encourage you to check it out. So if you're like me a couple years ago and feeling lost with money and business, check out Found at the top link in the description. Supporting my sponsors directly supports my work and allows me to make more fun videos for you guys. So please go check out that link. Let me know what you think. Box. And please go set yourself up for success. Thank you. Now let's talk about first one I want to get into is the auto focus. I gotta say, this camera has good autofocus. It's functional. It's not up to par with Sony, in my opinion, where you can just turn a Sony camera on and like move around and it will just basically perfectly track you. The Nikon does take a little bit of work. I had to tweak the speed settings just to get it to kind of catch up to the shots that I was trying to pull off in the protein commercial. There was one specific shot that I was struggling with where I did this push in with the gimbal trying to see my actress's face. And then when a product came up in front of her, I was hoping the camera would kind of just like snap focus onto the product. And I actually had to change the edit of my commercial because the focus wouldn't work fast enough. I could have bumped up the speed and probably gotten it to be relatively close, but overall, I think the autofocus on the Z8 is just a bit slower than Sony. But what I will say is it actually kind of makes it look more natural. It doesn't look quite as jumpy and jittery. It kind of smoothly transitions into focus. So it could be a pro or a con, depending on what style of stuff that you guys make. And I had the best results by just setting the autofocus to a center zone. Most of my shots I wanted centered anyway, so it worked for my shoot. I would say it's workable, but it's not perfect, obviously, and take that for what it is. I mentioned the screen earlier and that there was one major flaw, and that's the fact that it is just a tilt-up screen. Hold on, this is, this is weird. This is the Nikon ZF. This is so incredibly strange to me. This ZF, which is clearly a photocentric looking camera. It looks absolutely gorgeous, feels amazing. It has a flip out vlog style screen. Why? Why, dude? And it's big and juicy too. Look how juicy this is. The Z8 has a, a tilt up just a tilt up screen, which we know a lot of photographers enjoy. I get it, I get the argument for the tilt screen, but I've said this in so many videos, we've surpassed that argument because of the A7R5. And yes, I know there's gonna be one guy in the comments that's like, dude, the Panasonic S1H had it. Yes, but no one cares about that. <laughs> just kidding. Uh <laughs> The a7R5 screen needs to be the standard in mirrorless cameras moving forward. It tilts up, it flips out, both parties can be happy, and it is a minimal design. It is not super chunky like the S1H1 was. It, it, I think it's one of the weirdest designs in the Z8 is just to have a tilt out screen because it's so clearly a video beast camera. It's also a photo beast camera, I get it. I don't know, I'm working on a video about this camera so I'll get into it more and probably get heated again, but just be aware. Watch how fast I can sit down. Okay, and now that we're still talking about this weird teenage phase of puberty that Nikon's in, not being able to figure out their bodies, we have to mention this. So I wanna talk about what I wanna see out of this red deal, because I feel like we can't talk about Nikon and their filmmaking abilities without now talking about red and that future potential. The first thing I think we're gonna see is Nikon's name and branding becoming even less of a meme. I really think they've been making an effort and a marketing push to get their cameras into the hands of creators, see what we want, and I guess we'll see if they listen to that feedback, because they've made some killer camera bodies, insane quality. Will they listen to feedback? What will they take from RED and trickle into the Nikon line? If I could choose a couple things from RED cameras that would trickle into Nikon cameras in the future, I would choose the red raw codec because it's incredible to edit and just has amazing control. And I would take red's dynamic range from their sensors and pop it into the Nikon cameras of the future. That could be the next step for humanity, just saying. Next thing I wanna see out of this Nikon red shenanigans is a photography first camera and a filmmaking first camera. I want like a ZF that's just for photography. Like you don't give us a flip screen, just photography over here. You're already so good at making photography cameras. Put that here. Then give us like a mirrorless camera like the Z8, but make it like almost completely filmmaking centric. Kind of like the FX3 from Sony. What can Nikon make that's competing with the FX3? That's what I want to see. And I think that would be really exciting. 
Make sure to like this channel and subscribe to this video. Comment your best idea that you'd like to see come from this Nikon Red business. Follow me on Instagram for short and dumb stuff. Join our free Discord to join the Mayfam. Watch out for deer because their antlers are pointy and I will literally rip them off to protect you guys. And text me when you get home so I know you're safe. I've been thinking about you like crazy. Hope you're doing well and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.